Hi, I'm Andrew from Ether Automation. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do a pop-up, a stateless pop-up inside Zoho Creator. Um, and we're gonna show you some of the, the, the weird features that Zoho Creator can do, or you can have inside a Creator app. So let me start by sharing my screen. Hopefully it's the right screen. Otherwise, this is a short video. Okay, so this is um, a creator app I've been building in previous videos. And uh, let me refresh this real quick. So what I wanna do is I wanna make it easy for users to change this status. So right now they'd have to click here, then click edit, then go in here and change the status to processing, right? And I wanna make that um, uh, quite a bit easier for this person. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little button over here. And when that button is clicked, there's gonna be a pop-up that shows that record and then you can edit it and kind of go from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and click edit this application. Uh, I'm gonna go into that um, this view on the, the report. I'm gonna click these uh, lines over here. I'm gonna add a field. I'm gonna go down to add new button. And I'm going to um, make this action item update uh, order. And the name of the workflow is update order. Create the workflow, that new action, Duluth script, and then create your own. Now, this is actually a relatively straightforward uh, function. It's only two lines of code, but the two lines are a little bit weird. All right. So I'm going to copy and paste them in. Um, oh, actually, I'm not going to copy paste them in. So the two lines go like this. It's URL equals something, and then open URL, which is the URL, and then the same window. Those are the two lines. But it's the, the interesting things are in this URL. So um, if you don't know anything about creator, Zoho Creator's open URL uh, statement, um, you don't need to grab the full URL. You only need this thing at the end. This allows the URL that's open to work for either customer portal users because they'll have a different base URL um, or internal users, right? So I'm going to plunk that in here, right? I'm going to click Save. I'm going to click Done. I'm going to click Create. And then I'm just going to open it back up. And the reason I saved it is so that I could show you right here. So here is the button. And when I click open URL, this one opens a brand new one. And that's not exactly what I'm looking for. This opens it in the same window. And what we're looking for is a pop-up um, that shows the results only, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a question mark, right? And then I'm going to do something called uh, ZC, underscore load in equals uh, dialogue. Let's click update. And now when I, I think I need to refresh this. Now when I click this, it opens up in the pop-up and that's great, that is what I'm looking for. Um, but it doesn't have the information from the order. Um, and so this is part two, right? The first part is we, we wanna make sure that when it opens up, it it's in that pop-up, right? And this is a, it's called the stateless pop-up. Uh, but the other thing we want to do is we want to make sure that it's actually the record that we're looking for, right? So I'm just going to uh, do a couple of things. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to have something in here, and let me let me put a lot of spaces in to make this easier. I'm going to type in rec link ID equals. Now it's important that that first R is uh, lowercase and then the link is capitalized and ID is capitalized, all right? Um, and this tells Zoho Creator that we're opening up an existing record, right? And then we're gonna go plus inputs.id, right? And then plus, let's put in the rest of the stuff here, right? Now, if I were to do this, all right, I'm gonna click update. It's not quite going to work. Oh. It says invalid request. And the reason this doesn't work, like that would work in Zoho CRM, where you put in the ID into the URL and it works. But the way Zoho Creator works is 
things are all in reference to other things, right? And so what we want to do is we want to open this up um, to this reflink ID, but we also need to refer the view that it came from, right? Uh, I even forgot the and here. So let me just save that and just demo that again. See, it, it opens up, but it, it, it's, not, it's not working. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add in one more parameter, and that's the view link name equals. And the view link is actually the report that you're coming from. So in this case, it's all underscore orders. I'm going to paste that right here. All orders. I'm going to update. Now, when I refresh this and I click that button again, it opens up that particular um, order record as if it came from the page that it's on, right? So if you're if you're if you want to make that a little easier, there's three parameters you need: you need the rec link ID, the view link name, and then the ZC uh, load in equals to dialog. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to see more videos like this. Hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.